This gigantic hollow room was once a vein of lead bearing ore. The ore was extracted and the large pillars or columns on the sides were left to support the mine's roof. As ore is dug out, a grid-like pattern of rooms and pillars are left behind. This allows for smooth, flat floors and permits a higher rate of ore recovery. We get about 75 to 80% extraction. The other 20% is left in the pillars. We mine all the ore in the room part. When all the deposit is mined out, we come back and we actually extract the pillars at the end of the mine life. And there are different levels to the mine. Like floors in a skyscraper, this permits the same work to be done at different places in the mine at the same time. The rock has to be broken to extract it, and to do that, you have to drill holes in it to get it to break. A drill operator can drill about 200 holes in a 10-hour shift. Basically use water with the drill to control dust and to flush the hole out as we're drilling. About three quarters of a mile away from the drilling, an area called 27 Back is being prepared for blasting. A pneumatic hose packs pre-drilled holes with the powerful explosive ANFO. That's an acronym for ammonium nitrate and fuel oil. But why blast? Why not just dig the lead out? The rock that contains the lead, called ore, is so solid, only a series of very strong explosions can break it. After a blast, this is the treasure, chunks of galena ore. Galena is the natural mineral form of the compound lead sulfide. It's the primary lead ore that is mined all over the world.